Welcome to Spotlight to Panama, a showcase of Panama for the world. Today, I have the pleasure of being with Rafael Cohen, CEO of Pacifica Salud, a cornerstone of healthcare excellence in Panama. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Welcome to our hospital. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Can you please provide us an overview of Pacifica Salud and its mission providing healthcare services in Panama? Okay, in the year 2000, a group of physicians and a group of investors, they uh, had the opportunity to buy this land and to develop a world health hospital that could really uh, elevate um, the health uh, the, I would say the health industry in Panama. Uh, at the beginning it was tough, but uh, with the vision of the founders of the hospital, we were able to do probably the first uh, milestone, which was to bring in uh, a world-renowned facility like John Hopkins, a great partner for us in Latin America. And uh, that vision was succeeded in the year 2005 when we finally opened the hospital and since then this uh, short time we have been able to accomplish a lot as a health reference not only for Panama but for the region. Talking about uh, this partnership with John Hopkins, how do this partnership enhance the quality of medical services that you offer here in Pacific? Very Central? good question, okay. So, as I said earlier, in the year uh, 2000, we started this partnership with them. And uh, its main focus is on three or four pipelines, which is uh, quality control, safety. Uh, we measure our KPIs, our key performance indicators, which are in line with any US hospital in the world. And at the same time, we are a reference with other Hopkins hospitals. They have 17 hospitals in the network globally. And we're able to share our experiences and share our best practices. Uh, they also participate in the know-how of the hospital. They help us uh, with the pediatrics unit. They help us with uh, the heart transplant unit that we have in the hospital. And they, they've been through our, our history side by side through all these times, and I think it's been a game changer for the industry in Panama. In your opinion, how does Pacifica Salud compare with the top hospitals in the United States? I would say that we are very close to that uh, comparison. We offer here state-of-the-art technology, state-of-the-art human resource, and uh, I would say in some ways we are a little bit different I would say we are tropicalized and uh, that, uh, that I would say without you know, uh, making anybody feel uncomfortable that we have found a way to really center on the patient, their necessities, Most important. their needs, the ambience of the rooms. You know, we, all, we have here only all private rooms. So that creates an aggregate value that we have been able to differentiate from the US uh, any U.S. hospital, but in the end, they're very similar. They share the same protocols, and uh, we, we are very much in line with uh, healthcare in the U.S. Do you have enough bilingual personnel to attend yes. the, the yes, needs of foreigners? We have a whole team. We have a whole team of uh, of patient-centered care agents that work in 24-hour shifts, and we just started a process of starting to train people in English. Uh, so they can really communicate with medical with patients. tourism patients that are coming every every time after the pandemic. We've seen that they come uh, with more frequency to Panama, searching for good uh, quality, good safety, good pricing as well. So I, I think that uh, we are finally a, get, getting back what happened, you know, before COVID, because I think that there is a life before and after COVID. So. 
I believe that we're getting back in track. A lot of your doctors studied abroad. In which countries do they typically uh, study? Uh, mostly the U.S., obviously. Uh, they also been, uh, I mean, we have a very big staff. Most of them, they go and they get training from all the best hospitals in the world. Korea, Spain, Mexico, Colombia, U.S., Canada. So I think we have a very good mix. All of yes. them, most of them are bilingual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, in general, they are able to solve, uh, I mean, they are, we're able to diagnose very quickly when somebody has some sort of sickness or anything like that. What percentage of elective procedures consists of foreigners and where are they coming from? Mostly from the US, mostly from Canada. Uh, we're seeing uh, uh, patients and a lot from Central America because we have technology here that is not available there. Yes, and so we are they close. come looking for, for example, our, our robotic surgery. Uh, there's none in Central America. So they come here looking for uh, a prostatectomy, which is to take out uh, with the robot to mm -hmm. take out the, the prostate. And it's a very easy sur uh, surgery. It's, it's, it's minimal invasive surgery. And, and in two days you're at home and it costs a fraction of what it would cost in the US. Talking about the prices, uh, how different are the prices here comparing to the United States? Very, very <laughs> much different. You know, you must understand that this is a very small market. Most of our patients, they use private insurance, but there is a very big difference in pricing. Uh, very, very, very uh, significant. significant, to say the least, you know. That, that, and that's the main reason why, by coming to Panama and coming to our facility uh, becomes an advantage for any, any person considering having a special type of surgery, maybe orthopedics, maybe uh, prostate, maybe uh, um, weight reducing surgery. So I, I think uh, we can offer good quality, good prices, and the most important is safety and the outcomes of the surgery. Which of your medical services do foreigners request the most? Mostly orthopedics mostly orthopedics and mostly uh, bariatric surgeries. Uh, we do 300, 400 surgeries a year here in Panama. Uh, now we have Ozempic, but <laughs> still people don't, you know, we, we, I think we're, st we're still pretty much having our numbers, um, the, you know, much in line with what we used to do before. What aspects of the care that you provide here in Pacifica Salud do foreigners often highlight? Obviously, uh, our infrastructure. Most important is, you know, I would say is the engine of the business. It's our people. Yes. Our people here, we strive to make that difference. We strive here for that extra mile, you know. We understand that people are vulnerable when they are inside any facility like this. Sure. So we try to make it as much as possible like they would feel at home. You know, we have international chefs, uh, we have amenities in the room, we have a entertainment center, uh, we even have Nintendo for kids upon request. You know, we try to go that extra mile. For different needs. Yes, obviously. How does Pacifica Salud prioritize patient safety and satisfaction in its operations? I think, I mean, one, one important thing that uh, we uh, addressed back in the year 2010 is how we become an international um, facility, you know, with the strict quality and safety procedures. And, and that culminated with our first accreditation with the biggest uh, hospital safety uh, agency in the world, which is uh, the Joint Commission International. So we've been accredited for the last uh, 13 years. We have also incorporated our uh, ISO quality standards for our labs, for our radiology department, our, our, our CAP for laboratories, which is uh, the College of American Pathologists, which makes an extremely demandant laboratories uh, a process. Uh, 
And I believe that uh, by having these partners with us, we have been able to achieve excellence and in quality and in safety. And that's some, our most important mission. With Pacifica Salud currently operating two branches in the city, are there plans in place to continue expanding in Panama? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I, I believe that. Uh, Me too. That we have led. To uh, interior. The, of the I hope so. <laughs> right, we, we have led this uh, uh, this industry for the last ten years, and I believe we still have a lot to give to the, not only to our patients, but for the country. I think we have contributed a lot uh, in 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 helping people that need uh, uh, good quality and, and, and with regards whether you have or you don't have uh, any, fo any income, we are here to help. I think that's our main mission. Lastly, what message would you like to convey to our international audience looking for high quality medical services in Latin America? I believe, and, and, and it's my belief, that uh, we, are, we have created a team of professionals here at Pacifica Salud that are on the clock 24 hours a day, that could answer any request for any information that you might need in terms of healthcare. So uh, we are, again, this is not something new for us. Uh, we're in the process of getting accreditations also for uh, international uh, uh, um, tourism uh, hospital. We are getting that accreditation next year. Congratulations. So that will create uh, even more value for the people who, who have never been in Panama and has never heard about us to come here and uh, really trust the system. And I believe this is important for any patient seeking, to, seeking for, for uh, cheaper health uh, outside the U.S. Thank you so much Thank for you your for time. Having me. I Thank really you. appreciate and for sharing all this valuable information. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel because every Friday we are releasing a new episode. See you in the next episode.